Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at how automatic advance is happening on a VE type injection pump. On a VE type injection pump, we have a firing sequence of this kind. For example, this is a distributor type injection pump where we have this line going to number one. This is going to number three. This will be four. This will be two. One, three, four, two. Depending on the firing order, we have letters encrypted on here. We have A here, B, C, and D, depending on the firing order. Now, when we want to increase engine speed, because there is less time for combustion, fuel injection has to be advanced. Now, how does that advanced mechanism happen in this type of injection pump? That is what we are going to cover in this video. Use the timing advance for this type of injection pump, for a distributor type injection pump, is activated by the hydraulic pressure. The idea is the hydraulic pressure inside the injection pump housing will increase with the speed. There is, this is the injection pump housing, so the entire injection pump will be filled by hydraulic pressure, will be filled by oil pressure. The diesel fuel pressure inside the injection pump is regulated so that it will increase with the engine speed. So as engine speed increases, the diesel fuel pressure inside the injection pump housing the entire housing will also increase so there is a corresponding diesel fuel pressure inside the injection pump for every rpm for example if the engine rpm is 1000 there is let's say x value of hydraulic pressure in here x value of uh, diesel pressure in here then when the engine speed increases to 2000 that pressure will increase so we will have x plus y pressure internally inside the injection pump housing if the engine speed increases to 3000 rpm for example then we will have additional pressure inside here so now the internal pressure of the ve injection pump will become x plus y plus z additional value so every time the engine reaches 3000 rpm then we will have that fixed amount of internal pressure if it comes back to 2000 we will have x plus y pressure if it comes to 1000 rpm back to idle then we will have x pressure so the idea is the internal pressure of the diesel pressure inside the ve injection pump is kept increasing with engine rpm so we are going to use that hydraulic pressure that diesel pressure in order to dictate the advance of the injection timing so these are some of the components that are used for controlling the injection advance now this is the distributor and it is driven by this complete. So the timing by which this is lifted up dictates the injection timing. So every time this lifts up, it means there is injection. Every time this lifts up, there is injection. And the lifting of this is controlled by the position of the rollers on the roller ring. So this is the roller ring with all set of rollers and the template is going to be driven on these rollers. As you can see, when the template is rolling on the rollers, it will move up like so. And then as it passes, it will come down again. So when it is lifted up, when it is lifted up, that is when injection happens. And when it is going down, the plunger will be admitting fuel into the pressure chamber. So the idea now is injection timing will be dictated by the position of the rollers. If the rollers are in this vicinity and the injection plunger will be lifted only when the template reaches right here. But if the roller ring is to be rotated a little bit to the opposite direction of the rotation of the plunger, now, fuel injection can take place before the plunger reaches this position. Before the complete reaches this position, now there is injection. Injection has been shifted by this degree. That is the idea. So by simply moving the roller ring in opposite direction to the rotation of the plunger, you can advance the injection timing. So plunger will be placed in such a fashion as we have said previously on ABC, plunger is distributing fuel from A to B, C, D. 
steel so it will be distributing fuel in this direction it will be distributing fuel in counterclockwise fashion now when it is lifted up injection will take place that lifting is dictated by the position of the rollers so by simply moving the roller ring in opposite direction by moving the roller ring in opposite direction to the normal direction of rotation of this flanger you can advance the injection timing so that is the main principle simply rotate this in opposite direction the cam plate will reach here before it is time so it will advance the injection timing so moving the roller ring in opposite direction to the cam plate will advance fuel injection so that is the main principle in a nutshell move it a little it will inject if you move to this side it will retard it has to reach here if i move this however to opposite direction of rotation of the plunger then that will advance the injection timing in order to do this there are some components required as you can see this cam plate it has a drilling for inserting a control pin right here we have a control pin that is going to act on the automatic timer piston so this is going to be inserted in here you see there is a hole that hole has to be aligned to that hole you will insert this in here it will be inserted in such a fashion then it will be kept in place by this dowel it doesn't go out so you insert this now it is inserted so there is no way of coming out and in order to retain this pin there is a retaining clip you will install this in such a fashion now the pin is not going to fall off and this rod is also kept in place no matter what you do it will remain there and this is to be controlled by the piston this is the automatic timer piston the automatic timer piston has another component that will attach to the pin so this will go in here this is going to be inserted in here and then this pin is going to be inserted right in here now look by simply moving this piston this way and this way you can control the timing if you want to advance if hydraulic pressure is acting in this direction then it will rotate the roller ring in opposite direction to the rotation of the distributor so hydraulic pressure will be acting on this direction it will be acting on this side then when the hydraulic pressure goes down the entire assembly has to be returned so that the timing will reset that is done by a spring there is a timer spring the timer spring will be inserted on this side and the timer spring tension can be adjusted by simply using this adjusting screw this will be placed on this direction and the other side will be kept closed so this is how it is assembled then we have the cam plate in here the distributor will be sitting in here by simply moving this timer piston to the left and right you can vary the injection pump timing when engine speed increases hydraulic pressure will be acting opposite to the spring so the piston will be pushed to this direction that will move the entire roller ring in opposite direction to the rotation of the plunger when that hydraulic pressure is decreased the spring will return the entire assembly so this is how the injection pump timing is controlled now inside the injection pump housing this is where the piston is going to be inserted this is where the piston is going to be inserted and as you can see there is a line of hydraulic pressure that is coming this way this line will bring hydraulic pressure fuel diesel fuel pressure from the pump into this chamber where the piston is inserted you see there is a drilling right there there is a drilling see that drilling that is where hydraulic pressure will come out so the piston will be inserted inserted like so this hydraulic pressure will be acting on this 
if the hydraulic pressure overcomes the spring force, then this assembly will be moved down. But when this hydraulic pressure that is acting on this side of the piston comes down, the piston will be retraced by the by the timer piston by the timer spring. So on this side, we will insert the spring, and then we will have this assembly. This will be closing like so. Depending on the engine condition, you can adjust the advanced degree by using this adjusting screw. And this side will be closed. This side will be closed like so. So, let's see it in action. Now we have another, right here, we have inserted the entire assembly. Right there, there is a pin and the piston is inserted. As you can see, the piston is moving to the left and right. Now look at what happens to there. Look at what happens to the internal parts of the roller ring when it is when the piston is moving. See? When I move the piston to the left and right, the roller ring starts rotating. By simply pushing the roller ring in opposite direction to the rotation of the rotor, you can advance the injection timing. And when that hydraulic pressure decreases, a spring force will return this to the original position. So by simply moving the piston based on the internal pressure of the injection pump housing, timing will be advanced on a distributor type injection pump. So this is it. Here we have the piston. Hydraulic pressure will be acting. There is a line coming, hydraulic pressure. See, there is a line. That line will bring hydraulic pressure from the pump. That hydraulic pressure will act on this surface. So when it is pushing it down, it will cause advancing. When hydraulic pressure reduces, the piston will be returned by the spring, by the return spring. So by simply varying the relative position of the roller ring, injection timing can be advanced on a, distribu on a distributor type injection pump. So this is how a distributor type injection pump advances injection timing. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding how injection timing is advanced in a distributor type injection pump. If you like this video, if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.